Coziness is more than a feeling of warmth and comfort. It's a way of life. In a world that often feels too fast paced and hectic, cozy habits have a remarkable ability to transform our lives. Lately, I've been finding myself falling into habits and routines that increase my feelings of stress and overwhelm instead of alleviating them, leaving me with a deep sense of tiredness that has nothing to do with sleep. In a world where stress and daily demands can take a toll on our well being, making time for coziness isn't just about physical comfort, but also about nurturing your emotional well being. Which is why this week I decided to slow down and return to some of my favorite cozy habits for relaxing and recharging my batteries. And if you're anything like me and you have been feeling anxious, overwhelmed, or just plain worn out, here's a list of eight cozy habits for healing tired hearts and soothing stress. And habit number one on this list is to pour yourself a warm drink. There's just something so comforting about wrapping your hands around a steaming cup of your favorite warm beverage, whether it's a mug of aromatic tea, a rich and creamy cup of cocoa, or a perfectly brewed hot coffee, a warm drink can instantly evoke a sense of warmth and relaxation. It's more than just the beverage, it's the entire experience. Lately, I've gotten into the habit of making myself a cup of tea after my husband and the boys have left for work and school in the morning and sitting at our small eat-in table that overlooks the backyard to watch the little chipmunks, squirrels, and even rabbits foraging for food against the backdrop of the beautiful fall foliage. As I enjoy my tea, I try to engage all five of my senses from appreciating the dreamy steam rising out of the cup to the texture of the teacup pattern beneath my fingertips. Cozying up with a warm drink is one of life's simplest and yet greatest of pleasures. Number two, eat your favorite comfort food. Food has a unique power to connect us with our emotions, reminding us of cherished memories that can provide comfort and solace in tough times. For some people, it might be a piping hot bowl of mac and cheese. For others, a rich and hearty stew is a journey back to simpler and happier times. Each and every one of us have our own special comfort foods depending on our childhood and the culture that we grew up in. For my husband, it could be a steaming bowl of rice porridge or maybe a nice plate of homemade dumplings. For me, it's things like homemade chicken noodle soup or a warm slice of banana bread with butter that takes me instantly back to my grandma's kitchen. I always love hearing about people's comfort food, so I would love it if you would take a moment to drop me a comment down below and share your favorite comfort food or go-to recipe for getting cozy with me. I always enjoy reading your comments and stories, so I'll look forward to seeing those down below. Number three, light a gentle fire. Firelight has an inexplicable charm that draws people in and instantly creates an atmosphere of coziness. The flickering glow, soft crackling wood, the gentle whoosh of the dancing flames and the radiant warmth washing over you transports you to a world of coziness and tranquility. If you have a fire pit or a fireplace in your home, lighting a fire is a wonderful way to embrace this feeling, but you could also light a candle to create the same ambiance. And I've even had friends who use electric faux fireplaces to give them that same feeling of warmth and coziness instead of relying on the typical space heater. No matter what, a gentle fire is an enchanting experience that soothes your senses and puts your mind and heart at ease. Number four, go out into nature. Coziness doesn't have to be just about staying indoors. It can also be about going out and connecting with the natural world around you. Taking a leisurely stroll in the park, hiking in the woods, or simply sitting in your garden can provide a much needed break from the chaos of everyday life. Nature has an innate ability to calm and center us. The rustling leaves, chirping birds, and the feeling of fresh air on your skin can be incredibly rejuvenating. Autumn just so happens to be my favorite season to go out walking in the woods to enjoy the cool and crisp air and appreciate all the beautiful warm colors out there. It feels like everywhere you turn, there's something beautiful and new to marvel at. 
from the impossibly vibrant colors of the leaves to the little creatures scurrying around, it's so healing to head out into the great outdoors and let Mother Nature work her cozy magic on you. Number five, catch up with a friend or loved one. We recently moved back to the Chicago area and it just so happened that we now live close to one of my husband's oldest friends, who was actually his college roommate from 20 plus years ago, as well as a groomsman in our wedding. And they've been having a blast taking the kids skateboarding on the weekends and meeting up in the city for lunch here and there. And just the other day, he and his wife invited us over to their house to eat hot pot with them. And we had so much fun swapping stories from the past as our kids played ping pong together and cozied up to the family pet, Mango. Sometimes our friendships and relationships end up getting neglected or forgotten in the hustle and bustle of school and work and daily life. But time and time again, studies have shown that making time to nurture and connect with our warm relationships is one of the greatest things we can do for our physical, mental, and emotional well being. So, making it a habit to reach out to friends and loved ones to stay in touch and connected is one of the best things you can do for your long-term happiness and wellness. It feels like the older I get, the more I value and appreciate people who take the time to reach out and stay in touch and the more I feel motivated to do the same myself. And speaking of value and appreciation, if you're finding this video valuable or helpful, I'd love it if you would give this video a like and make sure that you're subscribed with all notifications turned on so that you can cozy up with the rest of the eight to Zen lifers who tune in for the new videos that I share every Sunday on the A to Z of simplifying your way to a life you love. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all of your likes, comments, and support. They give me all the warm and fuzzies. To the warm and fuzzy. Okay, on to the next topic. Number six, curl up with a good book. For many people, there's no cozier activity than curling up with a good book. Books have the remarkable ability to transport us to other worlds, letting us forget about our troubles for a while and immerse ourselves in captivating stories. Find a comfortable spot, whether it's your favorite armchair or a cozy nook or even your bed, and lose yourself in the pages of a beloved book or soothing audiobook. I personally love listening to audiobooks because it gives my tired eyes a chance to rest after a long day of staring at my computer screen to edit YouTube videos. And right now I'm listening to a book called The Comfort Zone by Kristen Butler. And I think this is a perfect book for people who struggle with giving themselves permission to slow down or rest when they're tired or burnt out. So I will make sure to share a link to the Comfort Zone audiobook, as well as a link where you can get a free 30-day trial of Audible down in the description box below for you if that sounds like something you might be interested in checking out. Number seven, watch a nostalgic movie. Just as books have the power to transport us, movies can do the same with the added bonus of having sound and visuals. Watching a nostalgic movie from your past can be a soothing and heartwarming experience. Whether it's revisiting a classic film that holds a special place in your heart, or watching a beloved animation that lets you revisit the magic of childhood. As the opening credits roll and the familiar soundtrack fills the room, you'll feel a sense of homecoming. I've also read several articles that discuss how people with anxiety or who have trouble relaxing tend to get stressed out or put on edge when watching something new or suspenseful. And apparently there's actually a word for this. It's called experiential control, which psychologists say makes us feel safe and can help us self-regulate in times of stress which means you don't have to feel guilty binge watching the Harry Potter series for the 394th time. Turn to page 394. Number eight, play a card or board game. Gaming isn't just for children. It's a cozy pastime that can bring people together and provide hours of fun. Whether you prefer classic board games like Monopoly and Scrabble or card games like Uno or Solitaire, Playing games can be a fantastic way to unwind, and the laughter, strategy, and camaraderie that come with playing games can create a cozy atmosphere that's hard to beat. Lately, since the weather has cooled down a lot, we've been playing a lot of chess, which actually happens to be one of my top 25 favorite minimalist home essentials. And if you want to know more about that, 
and find out the rest of my minimalist home favorites. Make sure to go check out this video that I've linked over here for you, or I'll see you next week. Until then, stay cozy, take care, bye-bye.